Hello everyone, it's Fair Sue. I am making a video today to talk about the book that I recommended. It is The 10 Secrets to Growing Black Hair Long and I just wanted to go over some homework that I got from that book. They talked a lot about the uh, camellia oil. It's a Japanese oil that they use that is said to encourage growth and um, protect the scalp, protect the length, and everything like that. So, of course, I had to try it. I ordered it from Amazon.com, and it comes in this gorgeous box. Um, it is just beautiful. The packaging is everything, right? And it comes in this nice glass bottle. And the price of it was $17.98 on um, Amazon Prime, so it was free shipping. And I also uh, want to talk about how I got this awesome package insert. It is all in Japanese, so I can't read it at all. But this picture right here, this is something that I have never seen before. And I don't need to speak Japanese to understand that this picture is a piece in my journey that I had never learned about before. I didn't realize that there was an actual pattern that you should follow when you're doing scalp massage. You know, I would just always kind of go like this in a pattern and just, you know, I would just do what felt right, which was to work my way from the edges to the center. So this picture alone that came with the um, camellia oil it's just so exciting and so the way it goes is that you will start at the front and go straight back then you will start at the sides and go towards the center of your head then the next step is starting from about behind the ears and going forward the next step is going from the back of the nape of the neck and going to the center and then it just shows a repeat of the same pattern where you go front to back sides to center and then neck nape of the neck to um a forward and I just couldn't help myself I was like let me try this let me share this because um my hair um, I've been doing the hair garden fertilizer every single night this week before bed. I just, I mean, I guess I've had this oil for about a week. And um, I just took it from the box today. And I was like, let me try this. And so far, so good. It's like a nice, thick feeling oil. And my hair loves oil. My hair thrives on oil. I don't use any gels or pomades or any styling product I only use oil and ends butter because the way my scalp set up it's just too sensitive to everything it's preservative shea coconut anything extra my 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 uh, scalp and my hair just don't need it don't like it don't want it I got the memo and I've just been making sure that with my journey that that's what I stick to what works for my scalp and my hair plus I'm kind of crazy about ingredients and um, I hope you guys have been paying attention to what I've been sharing in terms of ingredients and what they mean and how they do affect your hair um also I got this tangle tamer it's like five bucks so um what I did was I put some of the oil into my palm Maybe like three or four drops, not a lot. I took that on my fingertips and I smoothed it into my scalp. And then I used my tangle tamer and I followed the pattern of the diagram. And I'll just demonstrate that right now. And then you go from the sides to the center. And then, like I said, you go from behind the ears and go forward. And then you'll go from the nape of your neck forward. This feels so good. I love scalp massage. Feels amazing. Okay, so then just move the hair back. And then repeat. Front to back. Side to middle.
and then back to front. And my hair feels so good. It feels really amazing. And, um, you know, I haven't really had to do much to it all week. You know, my hair just loves just oil. It doesn't want anything else and it doesn't need anything else. And so that's why my truth is that you don't need a thousand products to get your hair to look healthy and grow and and be healthy just stick to simple um a few good products a few good ingredients and your hair will thrive i don't have good hair i don't have special hair it's not because i got indian in my family that has nothing to do with it i take good care of my hair. I use good ingredients. I stay doing research. My hair is this long and I still buy books and I still read and I still realize that there's so much that I don't know about hair. But traditionally and historically, if you look at Indian women, which I pay a lot of attention to, if you look at Japanese women, if you look at women from East India and, and other places around the world that have long hair. Brazilians, that's where the Morocco method comes from. I mean, you got to pay attention to what's working. Um, and if we look to our own culture and we look at the Rastas, they wear their hair in locks and have them down to their ankles. You got to take it and put it all together. You got to find the regimen that makes sense and say, hey, enough of these people are getting it right. Rastas put their hair in locks, leave it alone. They keep their scalp clean. They massage and stimulate their roots and their they protect their ends because they're a lot a uh, copy paste indians um from east india even native american indians i mean seriously what i've decided is that since i am going for my terminal length yes i have made it to this length doing what fair sue knows but i also realized that you know, I have to stay constantly learning and staying open to different and new ideas. And so what I've decided to do is look into the other cultures, look into what they're doing. Um, like the lady with the toothbrush. Uh, some of you guys have been getting as a healthy hair care tool, the toothbrush. Um, because that's another method to apply the um, oils to your scalp. And I mean, the more you stimulate your scalp, the better um, doing the inversion method was another thing that, um, it just works. And so it's the sum total of everything that I've been able to, to learn, to read, to absorb, but, you know, a solution only works if you do the work. Um, I give the links, I give the information, but unless you're willing to execute, I mean, you know, it's, it's really all up to you. It's, Ball is completely in your court and I just hope that I can continue to provide inspiration provide information and that you know I can be a good influence on you to use real ingredients use real products use things that you know come from good sources that are cold expeller press nothing hexane no chemicals because your skin is your largest organ and your skin is absorbing amounts of these chemicals I can't say exactly because everybody's different and um it just it matters to me that you're healthy and it matters to me that your hair is thriving and that you're happy with your hair and that I can continue to provide good information and good resources and good ideas because I know that I don't have it all figured out I figured out enough but there's always more that you can do there's always room for improvement, and so I never claim that I've got it all figured out, but what I do claim is that I'm trying, honey, and I will continue to share and try to be um, the best Pharisee I can be. So I hope that you're enjoying your Pharisee's garden experience and that um, I continue to just keep it fresh you know I, I i am going for terminal length but i don't want to get bored so that's why i keep doing these um different protective styles and again you know it i have books i have a style book um looking at hashtags messy bun updo just different um natural hairstyles and 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 getting inspired um and so i don't know i love it and i love sharing what i've learned and i just hope that um, this right here, the camellia oil, like I said, it's all in Japanese. It's just so cool that I can't read anything 
on this box. But uh, I, I'm, I'm really thrilled, and I look forward to great results. And I'm just going to go ahead and incorporate that into my healthy hair care routine. So this is Fair Sue signing out. I feel like I said, like, a whole lot. But <laughs> hope that um, you've enjoyed this video. And I'll talk at you later. Bye.